our parish purpose. We are forming the saints that God is calling us to be by providing faithful teaching, authentic worship, and compassionate service. Our faith and actions nourish engaged Catholics, inspire unengaged Catholics, and invite all to Christ's church. I'll just speak about how I have seen our purpose fulfilled. This past week, I was checking something on our parish YouTube channel. And as I did in the suggested videos on the right, a video popped up from November 2nd, 2014. It was a homily. It was recorded at the St. Paul campus. I was wearing black vestments because it was the feast of All Souls Day. I remembered that day and I clicked on the video. In that video, exactly seven years ago, on November 14th, on November 2nd, 2014, I read in my homily the letter from now Cardinal Tobin affirming our decision to keep the four campuses of All Saints open and his agreement to that vision. It made me think what has happened over these last seven years, particularly because this November 2nd, 2021, I will not be preaching at St. Paul's campus, but I'll be walking to the chancery of the Archdiocese of Cincinnati on November 2nd to try to explain to their archdiocese and leadership about what has happened here in the past seven years. Because as they go from 200 plus parishes to 60, they have a lot of questions. And I'll be honest, as I've been reflecting and praying on this, I don't know if I have a very clear answer on what has happened here. There were four parishes, and for the moment, I'd like to refer to them as clans. And through God's grace, they have been united. When you think of where we are at right now, it is truly an act of God. I t speak to priests constantly from across the United States of America, and what has happened here at All Saints Parish is not happening across our country. I hear it from you as you travel, on family vacations, and you go to Mass faithfully, and you see churches that are more than empty, Masses with no servers, and bulletins that solely have a mass schedule published in them because there aren't activities taking place. What has happened here and what is happening here is truly amazing. But I will tell you, my brothers and sisters, that I believe that what God has called all saints to has very possibly just begun. One of my favorite movies from 1995 is Braveheart. And there's a powerful conversation between William Wallace and Robert the Bruce. And Robert the Bruce says to William Wallace, you have accomplished more than you could have ever dreamed. But to fight against these odds looks more like rage than courage. William Wallace responds, it's well beyond rage. Help me. In the name of Christ, help yourselves. Now is our chance. If we, if we unite, we can win. And if we win, 
We can have something that none of us could ever dream of. Unite us. Unite the clans. Seven years ago, I believe that God united four parishes. And through his grace, he has brought about a parish that in many ways truly is a miracle. In no ways do I believe that we are perfect, and in no ways do I think that God has done with us. But one can only look at the results. In these past seven years, lives have been changed. In these past seven years, our congregation has grown. In these past seven years, we've birthed a fifth campus of online parishioners. But I believe that God is not done. Last Saturday, exactly one week ago, we had our welcome breakfast after this Mass. During COVID, over 100 families have joined All Saints Parish. And if you ask the question why, it's pretty easy to see. Because our world is dying, and much of the church along with it. Our world is redefining itself in what it believes to be a human being, in what marriage is, in what life is. We are slaughtering innocent lives in the womb, and many members of the church stand by and do nothing and say nothing and consent to these acts. Our freedoms are being taken away. And my dear brothers and sisters, if we do not realize that there is a war against the church, against humanity, we are blind. And people in our world are looking for hope and they are looking for community and they are for looking to sit in a church next to people that believe the same thing as them and they can't find it elsewhere and they are coming here. And I say open the doors. I believe a sixth campus is being born here at All Saints Parish and it will be people who will move here and will re relocate to southeastern Indiana because they want a place of refuge. And I say open the doors. I say unite the clans. And for those of you who have joined us in these past seven years and have found your home in southeastern Indiana and have found a place where there's perpetual adoration and servers galore and faithful teaching and orthodox preaching and community and life, I encourage you to tell your brothers and your sisters and your cousins and your friends and your neighbors, tell them to come. It is time to unite the clans. I will tell you, my brothers and sisters, that if we unite, we can win. But if we remain separated, we will be divided. And we will be defeated. And at this hour in our country's history, in this hour in our church's history, faithful Catholics must unite. And we cannot stand alone. We cannot let them destroy the family and life and humanity, because that is their goal. Our freedoms will be taken away, and we must say no. We must unite the clans. Seven years ago is exactly what God did. Seven years ago, it's what now Cardinal Tobin allowed to happen and gave permission to. And I believe that that original founding is a symbol of what is taking place for these past seven years. And all I can say is thanks be to God. We are not called to live in isolation. We are not called to live alone. We are called to be a community. And it's time for us to unite as brothers and sisters in fellowship, in grace, in sacrament, in truth. I am humbled beyond all belief to be your pastor and to have witnessed this miracle before me. I know that we are not perfect. But I would have to be a fool to believe that something beyond imagining has taken place. I ask of you to reflect upon these truths, to reflect upon who we are, 
and to recommit on our, fa- our feast day, All Saints Day, to fulfill our purpose all the more, of faithful teaching, authentic worship, compassionate service, of nourishing the engaged, inspiring the unengaged, and inviting all to Christ's church. May we live out our purpose well, and in doing so, may we form saints. And may we help those who are struggling. We unite, we can win. And if we win, we will have something that none of us could even have dreamt of. Unite us. Let us unite the clans. Amen. Amen.